Friends, if you are new to the electrical field, then this video is very important for you. Through today's video, we will learn how to draw an electrical circuit. So please watch this video till the end. Here I have made a simple circuit for you. As you can see here, you have a bulb and a switch. Now if you want to control this bulb using this switch, then you give phase supply to this switch. And by connecting the wire from the output terminal of the switch, you give phase supply to the bulb. Now our bulb also needs neutral supply, so we give neutral supply directly. Now if you are told to make this circuit in electrical drawing, then how you will make it? So the symbol of our bulb is something like this. Now the symbol of the switch is something like this. Now here you have to do connection, same like this. So here we need phase supply and neutral supply to start this bulb. Now we have to give phase supply to this switch. So we will connect a wire from the phase power supply and give input power supply to the switch. The same thing was done here too. Now from the output terminal of the switch, we connect a wire and give phase supply to the bulb. Now our bulb also needs neutral supply. So to give neutral supply to this bulb, we connect the wire from the neutral supply and give neutral supply to the bulb. Now friends, the circuit diagram made here and the circuit diagram made here are same. The diagram seen here is a pictorial diagram and this is a schematic diagram. Whenever a person tells you to make this circuit, then you should never make this type of circuit. You just have to make this type of circuit. Now if I press the switch here, when I press this switch, you can see that our bulb is glowing. This means that the power supply is flowing from here to our bulb. Now see, I have used only one switch to start this bulb. Now if I tell you that to start this bulb, I have to use two switch. And if I press any of the two switches, then our bulb should glow. So how do I should do the connection for this? In the circuit diagram that we will make here for the bulb, switch we will use in parallel to this switch, we will do connection of one more switch. What will happen is power supply from here goes to both the switches. Now if I press this switch, then our bulb will glow. And if I press this switch, then also our bulb will glow. But the circuit diagram that is made here has a condition. If we want to turn off this bulb, then we have to turn it off from both the places. I just wanted to explain that if you want to control one bulb from two places, then you can make a parallel connection and complete the circuit diagram. Now if you are given one more bulb and it is said that you have two switches and the bulb should start only after pressing both the switches, in that condition, you have to connect these two switches in series. After connecting in series, we will give power supply to the bulb and we will give neutral supply to bulb directly. Now if we want to start the bulb, then we have to turn on these two switches. Now if any of these two switch is not on, then in that condition, our bulb will not glow. That is, the power supply will not be able to reach here. Now see, here we are talking about the switch. Now if we want to use the push button instead of the switch, then how we will do it? So first of all, understand the symbol of this. Friends, see here I have shown you two push buttons. The first push button is NO and the second is NC. Now the NO push button has a symbol like this and the NC push button has a symbol like this. Friends, before moving forward, let me tell you something. If you are an electrician or an electrical engineer looking for the best book to level up your skills, then I have got something perfect for you. This electrician A to Z wiring book written by Arun Gupta, this book contains 100 plus circuit diagrams with 190 pages, including dual starter, star delta starter, reverse forward starter, and many other essential working diagrams that every professional must know. The best part is you can get this book instantly as a PDF just visit to www.wiringschool.com or click the link in the video description to buy the book. Once you make the payment, you will get an option to download the book right away. And we will also send the download link directly to your email for easy access. This is not just a book, it's your ultimate guide for mastering electrical wiring. Don't miss out, grab your copy now. Okay, let's continue to our video. Now see here in the circuit diagram, if I have to make the circuit diagram using only the push button, then how will I do it? So here, see what you have to do is remove this switch and use the NONC push button there. If you are using the NO push button here, then your bulb will not glow. Now to start this bulb, you have to press this push button. As soon as you press this push button, your bulb will glow. And as soon as you release this push button, your bulb turns off. Now see here, the NC push button has been used to make this bulb glow. Now if you do not press this push button, then also your bulb will glow because this is the NC push button. And what happens in the NC push button, the power supply flows from here and goes straight to this bulb. And the bulb will glow. Now as soon as you press the push button, the power supply will break from here. 
and after it breaks the power supply will not be able to flow forward and the bulb will not glow. So here you can learn that if you are being given a push button and you have to develop a logic in such a way that after pressing the push button you have to make the power supply flow forward then use the anno push button there. And if it is said to you that after pressing your push button the power supply that was flowing forward if it turns off then in that condition you will have to use the NC push button. Friends we never use the push button here to turn on and off the bulb. So here I use the hooter to explain you. So here suppose you have two hooters. Now if you want to blow this hooter then you have to press this push button. By pressing this our hooter will make a sound. And if we do not press this the hooter will remain off. But this NC push button will not do this. By using the NC push button our hooter will continuously horn. Now as soon as we press this push button our hooter will turn off. That is it will stop and when released again our hooter starts. Friends here we are talking about switches. So there is another switch called the limit switch. Limit switch comes in two types. Anno limit switch and NC limit switch. Now the logic you develop that is the wiring you do according to that wiring you have to use the anno or NC element. The bulb here needs phase supply and neutral supply. Then what will you do? You will give this limit switch input power supply through phase supply and you will take it from the outgoing terminal of the limit switch and supply power to the bulb. Similarly if your limit switch has NC contact and if you want to use NC contact to make the bulb glow then what you will do? You will connect the wire from the phase supply and give input power supply to your limit switch. And you will connect the wire from the outgoing terminal of the limit switch and supply power to the bulb. Now we will also provide neutral supply to these two bulbs. If you want to turn on this bulb then to turn on this you have to change the contact of your limit switch. What will happen here if you use anno contact then your bulb will remain off. Now as soon as an object comes and presses your limit switch its contact will change and when it changes its contact will become NC. And when it becomes NC the power supply will flow from here and make this bulb glow. If you have connected a bulb or any equipment by using NC contact then what happens there? When you make NC contact into NO, then only bulb will turn off. I am making another small circuit diagram to explain you. Here what I have done is, I have given input power supply to the limit switch through the phase. And its output power supply has been given to a contactor. Now here our limit switch has a door to operate it. As soon as this door opens, the limit switch will become NC from NO. And when it becomes NC, the power supply will flow from here and will go to this contactor and contactor will be turned on. Now the contactor used here through its power circuit, we can turn on the motor or we can turn on whatever we want. So friends, let's stop this video here for today. See you in the next class. Thanks for watching this video.